On the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, the Global Health Technologies Coalition asked global health experts, why does global health innovation matter to you personally? I kind of came of age politically in the early 90s when, um, when HIV was still a death sentence, pure and simple. And um, just knew way too many people who died way too young and um, missed that moment in 1996 when everything started to change. And, um, and uh, yeah, those are lives lost and there's, um, there's, I wanna say there's nothing we can do about it, but obviously we wouldn't be doing what we're doing if there were nothing to do about it. The whole point is, had those scientific advancements come more quickly, had the, stigma and um, discrimination associated with HIV because it's a sexually transmitted disease not hampered the response uh, here in this country and around the world, we would have seen a very, very different kind of picture. And globally, obviously, had we not, as a society, decided that it was somehow acceptable that the rest of the world should just wait a decade or two to get access to those inventions, those life-saving inventions, um, you know, literally millions of lives, <laughs> you know, would not have, would not have been lost. And um, I think for, for many people in my generation, that is still the motivating thing, ultimately. We, we knew people, we loved people, we lost people, and, um, and we just don't want to see it happen again. I'm trained as an MD, PhD, uh, laboratory investigator, as a scientist, and uh, started out stri strictly as a bench researcher. And uh, I just couldn't help but notice the enormous impact that technologies that are coming out of a laboratory can have on improving the lives of people uh, all over the planet. Uh, Albert Sabin, uh, who our institute is named after, once said, a scientist who is also a human being can't rest while knowledge, uh, which could reduce suffering, sits there on the shelf. And we've really taken that to heart. And I think um, it's very exciting to see how science can really make an impact on improving health but also reducing poverty. And so we call our, our vaccines anti-poverty vaccines, and that's something that's very exciting for us. We're sitting here in New York City today. I was a medical resident here 30 years ago when I saw my first AIDS cases. And for the first 15 years of the epidemic, everybody died. It was a very dismal time in the epidemic. Uh, investment and innovation on treatments have transformed that dramatically. So I've, I've sort of lived through that remarkable transformation of an epidemic where everybody died to one where people now have long fulfilled lives on effective treatment. As a woman, I feel very strongly about women's empowerment and I am an empowered woman and I owe it all to um, opportunity. And I've had opportunity to get educated and to, um, to have great jobs and I was able to do this because I was able to take advantage of health innovations that were made um, and readily available to me. And I think when women have the tools that they need to be healthy, they can have an enormous impact on the world and I want women to have what I've been able to accomplish with innovations. I grew up in many different countries um, through my childhood and formative years but really having been and worked overseas in many countries I have been out into communities I have been into health facilities and seen the impact of the work we've done. Uh, in Kenya I was involved with a campaign that vaccinated 35 million people against measles in a week's period and after that you would go and look in the hospital wards for measles and they were completely gone. I also have been in communities where not having the proper antibiotics of being able to give drugs um, and also treatment for malaria. Uh, many wards where you see young children under the age of five all in bed uh, waiting for some type of care and then it's not going to come. So these are the things that have driven me um, to really devote my work and my time uh, and efforts to make sure that we get the message out. Because it makes a difference and I think for many people the work on research can often feel a very long way away. We're not working directly with clients in the field but for me the scale of what we do has enormous impact. It's not just about uh, supporting one person through one project or one program. It's about generating the research and the evidence that can transform the lives of millions of people by making sure the resources that we have are better invested.